Welcome back to 48 Hours. This is What's He Doing? What's He Done? Where we bring you who's at fault for each of the Premier League goals. A stat the Premier League just does not want you to know. We're bringing you the list. Up first, Man City Palace. Sean, are you excited? There's too many goals. So many goals. Man City Palace up first. For me, Man City, they conceded first, Sean. It's hard to give Man City fault sometimes because they're such a well-oiled machine. But this is Stones. Got left behind. Ruben tries to recover. Stones tries to do like a crossover because he knows he's not catching Mateta. But... Uh, Neither did Ruben, so there we go. First goal. Whoops. It's an odd mistake as well. Oh, no. Don't see it a lot from City. Or from Stones. Second goal, we do see this a lot. What's that? Palace conceding. <laughs> they love conceding. And I mean, Muniz, for me, for some reason, follows Grealish off the pitch. Yep. Grealish taps it back, and then, I mean, what are you supposed to do when De Bruyne just... He's in his prime. He is. Long hair, prime De Bruyne. He is him. In 10 years, when you're playing EAFC and you've got <laughs> Icon De Bruyne, yeah. his highest rated cards are going to have long hair. Sean's not going to like this one because he loves Joaquin Anderson, but think it on to Lewis. I think this is an easy one to concede. Get him on the list. I mean, it is a shame. I I didn't say Anderson because he's actually trying. And there's two he passes people, it to Lewis. There's two people around him that are just there that run into each other. I get that. But if he passes it to Lewis, he's he, got he the assist. Pass, he tried to clear it. He can't he's not assist. looking at Lewis. He doesn't know where <laughs> Lewis is. You're like with this one, Sean. I have no idea who you're giving this one to. But uh, Anderson. Again, on yeah. a double. On the double. First game, first double, honestly. Palace, what are you doing? So he just fails to see De Bruyne's run, mm. even though it's two yards away from him, mm. and then just throws himself again off the pitch. Mm. There's, there was a lot of people just running off the pitch in this game when the yeah. goals went in. Mm -hmm. Mooney is the first one, Anderson this one. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, give Haaland a shot he can't miss. <laughs> I mean, two yards away, he's going to hit it. Now, the next one for me is Wharton. What kind of block do you call that? Sean, he threw his top half at the ball, yeah. but he moved his legs out of the way so De Bruyne could get his second goal. De Bruyne kicked this like a four-year-old. Didn't he? <laughs> he's all like, Whoa, left foot. This is how nursery kids kick football. It is. Just like, you know, he's dropped it, like we're born. But, I mean, yeah. if he's going to bury it at bottom bins, go for goal number two. Pep then took him off so he couldn't get his hat-trick, but he can't let that man get injured. I mean, phone in, Blair. It's precious. Ruined my fantasy team, though. Last but not least, then, Sean, who's at fault for this last one? Ruben Diaz. What are you doing? What are you done? You tell me. He's sleeping. <laughs> I think it's just a little bit of that like late game complacency. I mean, they're 4 when, one up. When, when you're 4 one up. Yeah. But there's a standard. You've got to hold yourself. Edwards to was lucky here, though, to be fair, fair to tow it round him. Yeah, but he gets in front of it. Mm. And Diaz has to do everything in his power to stop that happening. True. That's the game. Okay, that moves us on to Villa versus Brentford. Um, with this one... There's not really a lot Ajer can do. He jumps, can't really jump any higher. Uh, maximum effort achieved. Just uh, So I think I've got to push this one onto Regulon. He's not going to get to the cross. This is what Kerry would say. Um, he pretty much sees it as if you let the cross come in, you're the one that's at fault. So Ajer, you can't really jump up any higher. Maybe more vertical training. Ajer, you absolute mug. Morgan Rogers, yeah, yeah. this kid, kid, mm. has no right to be able to scoop the ball in front of... Great touch. Christophe Ager, who's a national team centre-back. Mm -hmm. And then Ager just freezes. Like, the skill happened, and Ager went, nah, <laughs> I'm not doing anything about He tried. It. And then Roger shot, and then Ager started to move. He's 100% got to get on the list, though. So I he's mean, lucky yeah. he didn't get a double. He's got a single. I'm not giving this goal to anybody. Perhaps gravity. It's, it's no fault, but not because it's a screamer. It's just, it's hit his standing leg after he's air-swung it. I mean, yeah. No, this is he complete. This is the jammiest goal I've ever seen go in. No, he meant it. <laughs> this is like it getting booted at your head, it bouncing off your head and going in. Like this is just pure fluke. No intention. Like you mentioned a four-year-old scoring a goal. This is how a four-year-old would score a goal as well. <laughs> now this one, probably the worst defending I've seen in the league this season. How Torres somehow manages to just run under the ball. Yeah, and After then he gets put on a spin cycle. And Waymo <laughs> can just. Boot it in the back of the net, mm -hmm. full power. Yeah. But Torres, he's looking at the ball, and as soon as he's run past it, he turns around and keeps running backwards. Yeah. It's like he had so much momentum that he couldn't stop himself, even with the turn. That's right, on the laces, bosh. And then Abuemo just smashed <laughs> it. But I don't know how a ball has been crossed in, and there's three defenders in the box, and he, you've, he's managed to volley it he's in between all of them. His, his foot was genuinely at shoulder height as well. This was full Ibrahimovic kung fu. Yeah, you're Carlos, mate. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you on the floor? You missed the ball. If you get to the ball, you don't get the fault. But if you miss the ball, you get the fault. You just let them get straight through. 
No arguments here. This is an easy one. This one's more your forte. Yeah, this has to be Flecken. Flecken. I'll like, not have anything but Flecken. Why does he come off his line? Well, he wants to get to the ball, but it goes, it carries too much. The way these professional players kick this ball puts backspin on it, okay? That's and backspin allows, it. huh? That's how anyone kicks the ball. No, if you try and do it, some, some people will put right swaz on it, left swaz on it, and they won't get the ball to spin backwards. When it spins backwards, it holds up because of the Magnus effect. It wants to stay in the air. Magnus so it staying in the air can sometimes throw a goalkeeper off. I mean, he's going to blame Sunshine. He's going to blame I was, I was, I was bumped into. But Watkins got his forehead to this while Flecken is at full reach. Flecken's taller than Watkins and he has his arm above his head. Mm. So there's no excuse here. Flecken has to stay on his line or he has to just come and clear everyone out. Well, he just missed the punch. Watkins put it into an empty net. Yep. He's been taking, you know, he's been taking tips from Trafford. I benched Watkins in FPL this week. Oh, you made a mistake. It's scored two. Yep. Whoops. <laughs> no, stop benching Chelsea players. <sighs> All right, and Luton Bournemouth, and this is my goal. So for me, this one is Mengi. Great strike from Tavernier. Almost no fault screamer. And with the James Ward celebration, lovely little bit of salt bay for him there. But uh, Mengi, what, why, what's the block? Why aren't you blocking? You're a defender. Why are you blocking? He just moves out of the way, Sean. I mean, that's what I would do. No, he literally just went, mm, watched it go past, hoping his keeper would get to it, and it buries straight inside net. I mean, it's kicked it very Stick hard. a leg out. It's kicked it very Yeah, hard. but it's on the floor. Stick your foot there. It's your job. Uh, dangerous. Lazy defending. Might break your leg. Get on the list. Kelly. Surname, Kelly. Never trust a man with two first names. Well, Kelly? I'm, that's what I'm going to say. Lloyd Kelly. Yeah. How so? It's unlucky, because like, he's attempted to do like a little fancy touch round. Yeah. The um, Luton player, and then he's been steamrolled, <laughs> and the ball's just bounced and fallen to Clark. Okay. Who yeah. has somehow, without even looking at the goal, put it perfectly bottom corner. Okay, I see why you're going with this one. I I gave this one to Cook because Cook was with Clark the whole way, then just stopped, and then Clark got the ball, and he, Cook went, "Oh my god!" And then, but I see what you're saying because Kelly was actually responsible for trying to intercept that pass. So, I mean, yeah, the ball came perfectly to Kelly. He mm. could have just hoofed it. He could have, done. but he took a, a fancy little touch yeah, and then tried, to tried it with his left foot. But before his left foot got to the ball, he got obliterated. Yeah, completely agree. Fair enough. Get on the list, Kelly. We doing? We done. Nearly going. Uh, this one's harsh. It has to go to Zabiani, but Carlton Morris does Hayuken him straight to the ground slightly before. Uh, you got to go on the list, man. I'm sorry, Zab Zab Zabiani. Zabiani. He's mm. not been on the list for a while. Luton finally get a goal. Uh, Luton finally get a win at home, Sean. Some points they desperately need. They look like they're not going to go down this year. No, they don't. Hmm? No, they don't. They look like they're going to stay up. No, they don't. You heard it first. You said mm. they're going to stay up. Okay. I said that in my prediction as well. That video's coming out soon. Cool. What I don't get to say in this one, Sean, Everton Burnley. Murek, Nobed. <laughs> That's it. Dude just... Who did this last week? Gerbich. Yeah, Gerbich. Booted against Darwin Nunez. Mm -hmm. A lot of that going around. Dominic Calvert-Lewin, well done, sir. Not well done, sir. Right place, right time. Yeah, but you don't, you don't get well done for right place, right time. You do. You get fair play, you're lucky. Well done. You get, <laughs> you get what, his third goal of the season? True. Okay, bringing us to Fulham Newcastle. Sean, you can turn around for this one. Uh, this one's going to Robinson. Because I gave it to Ahmed Hodzic, this exact fault midweek. If you're going to clear it to the top of the 18-yard box, Sean, expect Bruno Gamaric to smash it in. They just had a goal disallowed as well, and which shouldn't have been disallowed. But fair enough. We, we're not going to confuse VAR with what's he doing. Uh, that's for a whole different series. But uh, yeah, I'm not surprised Newcastle won this one. Fulham were just all over the place. It's Wolves versus West Ham. It is Wolves versus West Ham. No, not Wolves. 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 Wolves versus West Ham. Gary O'Neill called him Wolves. Did he? In, in the press conference after the game. His own team? Yeah. <laughs> he missed the L. What a sausage. Name. Well, this one's easy with you, isn't it? Uh, nah. <laughs> Emerson, what are you doing? No, I don't I don't like that Emerson got this. I'd, I'm not a fan that this was a penalty. Por qué? He got the ball. And? It's not a was penalty. Was there a penalty? There shouldn't have been. Was there a pen, though? There should not have yeah, been. Yeah, there shouldn't have been, but was there? Maybe, I don't know. Okay, so there was a pen and they scored it. So what's the rule at 48 hours? The keeper's getting it because it's not a foul. <laughs> it is a foul. I don't what believe, are you doing? This is the second time in a Wolves game that a pen's been given and it shouldn't have been a pen this season. Sean sounds almost bitter. No, and, I'm, uh, I'm, for I'm, me, I'm joking. This is possibly the worst challenge oh. I've seen in a very long time. Oh, well, you duped me just he, well. He went in two-footed. 
Yeah, he Bo- worked him out. Bo- both feet up into Ait Nori, yeah. missed Ait Nori, missed the ball, mm-hmm. and then Ait Nori ran over him. Yeah, of course. There's a worse challenge in this match week that gives away a penalty by Lamptey. I mean, so who cares? You get <laughs> you give Le Pen, you get left off. <laughs> Uh, well, same again. If you give Le Pen, you get Le Fault. Max Kilman, great volleyball technique. And last I checked, Sean, not the goalkeeper for nah, Wolves. No, nah, he's not. Jose Sars, that goalkeeper. And David Bentley, who was and, in goal. Yeah, well, and David Bentley. What a sausage. David, because uh, yeah. Max Kilman, I wanted to give you the fault last week. Sean wouldn't let me. But now I get to give it to you because it's my goal and you're going on the list. Can't handle it in your box, my man. You all know that. Get in the comments. Tell me if I'm wrong. I'm not. A natural position for his arm to be in. What, out here? Yeah, he's trying to block the ball with his hand. <laughs> he was hand, absolutely. Yeah, that's natural position. It's a great save. <laughs> and, um, yeah, the, this one's no fault. I, <laughs> I genuinely don't know what to say. No fault. Ward Prowse has somehow curved a corner into the far post. Hit the yeah, side net in, bar side. Like, there's nothing anyone could do. I mean, the goalkeeper could not let it go in. He could not corner. be getting fouled, yeah, on his line by If it was a foul, side, it yeah. wouldn't have been a goal. I'm sorry, but if Antonio, quite a strong man, it stood... Go down. It stood on you and you jump into him. Go he does down. go down. Where, where was yeah. his foul then? They just don't give it. Oh, well. Ward Prowse is already off celebrating. Should have been Oh, yeah. <laughs> scored a, he scored a corner before he scored a free kick this Of season. things that should not be happening in the Premier League, scoring straight off corners, it's some Sunday League shit. I mean, should not be happening. I mean, Douglas Luiz is the king of it. Yeah. Maybe. He's done it the most. Brings us on to Brighton Arsenal and this first one is for me. Easy one. Lamptey. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't boot Gabriel Jesus, please. I mean, we don't mind. He doesn't score any goals. But you could boot Havertz instead. But uh, yeah, numpty. Lamptey, numpty. Give he, Le Pen, I mean, get Le Fault. He did get something on the ball. He swung his leg under. The his tip of his toe nicked the ball while yeah. he was on his way to cut out the legs. Yeah, I mean, All he did was sweep the leg. If Jesus didn't flick the ball out in the air for no reason, he wouldn't have got fouled. I'll hear no more on it. Who's next, Sean? Uh, Esther Pinha. Oh, your favourite. You love Esther Pinha. I do. But he's not in my fantasy team anymore oh. because Brighton suck. <laughs> um, Comments. No, fella's just stood there looking at nothing. Mm-hmm. He's not even looking at anything. And I then, didn't know who to give this to. There were three of them. Could have been anyone. Jorginho to Havertz. Yeah. Is this 2020 Chelsea? <laughs> exactly. No, it's 2024 Arsenal. There you go. And they're about to win the league. So, Unlikely. They finished fourth. They're top. <laughs> I know. Not for long. Uh, for me, Sean, you love this one because you can't type him on a computer. Pascal Gross, you need to get a pair of shorts with some zips on, mate, because your pockets were picked. Scrub. And next up is Manchester United versus Liverpool. Sean, first goal. Big derby. Big derby. Which means you've got to be a big time player for the defensive situations. Mm-hmm. Wamba Saka. From this corner, Darwin Nunez is giving him all the shimmies. Yep. He's trying to sell him, but Wamba Saka's mm. smarter than that. He knows I'm not getting done by a shimmy. So Nunez just runs him into another Man United player. Yeah, into a screen. And he's done from there. Mm. Nunez is a free header and Diaz can get a simple little tap in. Yeah, for me, Onana needs to get more on this, but I'm gonna, it's your goal. So, mm-hmm. Okay, this goal, what a goal it was from Bruno Fernandes, halfway line. But for me, Kwanzaa, what are you doing? You can't play the hospital pass. Fernandes is going to take that all day. And luckily for him, Kelleher was so close, but didn't quite get there. Kelleher is on the 30-yard line. Yeah, he still went with his hands, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would have been handball. It's not in the box. True. United take the lead, unbelievably. Mm-hmm. And no fault. No fault. For me. No, no way. Kobe Minu, the boy's electric. He's got to be in your England starting 11, Sean. He's not. He's, he's not even be. in the squad. But he's very good. I quite like him. Outrageous. Okay, well, this one's easy to give to Wamba Saka. If you give Lip in, you are at Le Fault. Nice. Moving straight on. Shunt versus Jay. Yeah. So I have it done. We streamed this match, not particularly happy about it. Chelsea versus Sheffield. Er, Sean? Go on. Well, never trust Trusty. No. You can't trust him there. You can't. He's absolutely played by Silva. The same way Wamba Saka is played by Darwin Nunez yep. from the corner. Silva and Trusty are together, and then Silva gives him a shimmy, runs him into another Sheffield United player, yep. and then has a beautiful volley into the bottom corner. Six square yards all open for him. Too it's easy. A, it's well worked from Silva. Yeah, too easy. Veterans goal. Well, I've got to give this one to Gallagher, unfortunately, Sean. You're not going to like it. He's the one that's following the run. He tries to pass his man off to Cucurella. Cucurella doesn't react in time. Gallagher should have just carried on straight through. I'm not giving this one to Petrovic. 
simply because it's hard to defend even your near post. He did lean too early, but that's irrelevant. Uh, Gallagher, you should have carried on following your man. Simple as. Dun, dun, dun. Double. Double. Tis a double. Tis a double. Don't trust the trusty. Don't trust the trusty. <laughs> Just keeps backing up and backing up. Sean's favourite. Backing up, backing up, backing up. Come on, what's he doing? He just backs up until he's in his own goal. And then Madueke can just put it on his left. Hit it as hard as he possibly wants. Yep. Gerbic should do a lot better. Keeper had no job. He was already diving the other way. Yeah, but he, I mean, if he didn't move, he'd just hit him. True. But for some reason, he's already on the floor. Maybe the force of the shot. Yeah. Now, this one breaks my heart. Because three weeks in a row, we have to say, and quite confidently, that Petrovic, what are you doing? What have you done? Three weeks in a row, you have now taken Chelsea from a winning position into a drawing position. It is really frustrating because all you have to do is rush out. Instinctively, you wanted to, then you retreated. I don't know if that's your coach. I don't know if that's recent training, but you shouldn't have done that. You should have run straight out and absolutely smashed this ball. Okay, simple. Earlier one we can give away because, again, you shouldn't be saving anything that's been smashed at you from six yards. But this one, as it's nodded through, you already came out. All you've got to do is come out, make yourself big, and hopefully you can confuse the striker or get it away or defenders can come and help you. But three in a row, Sean. This guy is starting to stress me out. I mean, it's, it's harsh to blame him, I feel. But as a keeper, you probably know what's going through his head. Yeah. For, for me, it's just a... The, the two headers beforehand made this goal. They were both by Sheffield players. Yeah, but Mudrick could have won the one on the edge of the box. True. And Shalabar could have won the one in the box. Both flicked on by Sheffield United players. And then it's three on one on the keeper in the yeah. six-yard keeper box. Keeper shouldn't have run back down. So if he, didn't, if he didn't retreat, he'd have been able to collect that ball, jump on it, boot it away, do something at least, or even draw a foul. It would have kept us in the game and won us the game. Bringing us to our final game of the week, match week 32, bringing you all these goals and all these faults. Premier League just don't tell you about. Sean, Tottenham versus Forest. Tottenham did not let their side down, did they? Well, no, but Mourinho attempted a 70-yard goal-scoring opportunity. Hmm. He went for it, and then about five minutes later, he scored a three-yard tap-in against his own team. Yeah, last we checked, though, Mourinho. Not Spurs, but... Would fit well. Pretty good player. Would fit well if he didn't score so many goals. But, um, what a melon. What are you doing? What have you done? Now, Nottingham Forest scored as well with a double nutmeg on both Christian Romero and on Pedro Porro. I have to give this one to Pedro Porro, annoyingly, because he's the last one and that's the one that does the keeper in. Romero gets a little bit to it. It sort of hits him in the, in the not-to-mention areas and bounces through for Chris Wood to smash through uh, Pedro Porro's legs. So, unfortunately... If you're going to try and block and the only gap you leave is the one they exploit, you're going to be at fault. Sorry, Pedro. At least you made up for it, though. Yeah, he didn't make up for it before Van der Ven took the bloody net off. I know, right? Jesus. No fault. No fault, surely. Absolutely no fault. I'm glad you said that because Pedro Porro's goal, also no fault. Nice. That's it. Both Tottenham's <laughs> second and third goal in this game, no fault. Nothing any team could have done about it. No one in the wrong place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. absolutely destroyed it. Aina's way out of position for Porro's goal. Irrelevant. It's not relevant. It is relevant. If he's in position, there's he nothing he could have done. It. Yeah, but he's trying to contribute. It's a counter attacking ball. He's miles. There's away. nothing he can do in that position. No matter how fast he runs. Don't be out of position. He's a no fault screamer. It's it. No one on the list for those. Sean will be updating this list and we will be getting you the full list by the end of the season of who has conceded the most for their team, who's been at fault the most, who's just outrageously taken the piss out of everyone that's around them and who shouldn't be there and just needs to go in the summer. Sean? If you like the video, like the video. And it's also free to subscribe so you can hear the next one, see the next one, and feel the next one. See you next time. Adios.